Marley's Oli and Bailey. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to have to take a sick day tomorrow. Pet parents don't take sick days. Hey, welcome to Zoe's Lucky Times 3. Today we're going to be doing a video about 9 things on how to properly care for your pets. So, the first thing that I have down is you need to be financially ready. It's so important to have money set aside for your pets because first of all when you buy them just buying a pet can be expensive whether you're uh, adopting i know most places you have to pay a fee or you're getting your dog from a breeder you have to have money set aside to get the dog and also to get the supplies that the dog needs so you, before you do anything make sure that you're financially ready to properly care for your pet the next thing that i have is a healthy diet Make sure that your dog is on a healthy and balanced diet and when you purchase dog food, make sure to look at the ingredients and make sure that these are real ingredients. You don't want something that starts off with the first ingredient and something you don't even know what it is. I personally make my dog's food because it just gives me a peace of mind knowing exactly what they have in their food, exactly how much they need of what, and just making sure they're having a very healthy and balanced diet. The third thing that I have is routine trips to the vet. It's so important to make sure that your dog has all the vaccinations they need. Make sure they have the heartworm and the flea medicine every month. Um, I just can't even stress how important it is to make sure your dog is in good health. I personally um, have a wellness plan with Banfield at PetSmart to where I pay a monthly fee and they get unlimited visits. All their vaccinations are included. They get two dental cleanings a year, and they get spay and neuter, all included under that fee of about, it's about $30 per pet, which I think is amazing because with my dogs, if I have any questions or anything's going on, I know I can call them, get an appointment, I don't have to come out of pocket, it's set for to pay for the medicine, which is also discounted through my plan. So for me, I think that's just important. It's paramount to make sure that even as a pup, you get them on a good wellness plan. Another thing too that comes with the vet is also finances, which ties back into number one, being financially ready. One thing that I do is I have a care credit card just for my dogs. In case, let's say somebody breaks their arm or something and it's a crazy amount of money to get it fixed, I have a card set aside for them if I need it for any reason and I can afford it out of my own pocket right then and there. I have something to wear. If I need to go to the vet, boom, we have it covered. Also, one more thing is, though we have our Monday through Friday routine vet, we also have an emergency vet that we go to for after hours. Because, of course, my, our normal vet closes at 7 p.m. So, if anything happens after that, let's say something happens at 1 in the morning, I don't like to wait until morning. If my dog is in pain, I want the pain to leave. So, we have an emergency vet that's 24 hours every single day that we take them to as well. So just make sure you, before you get a dog, you have a good vet in mind. Maybe go to the vet, ask questions, get information, and make a good solid choice before you get your dog. The fourth thing that I have is to keep your dog groomed. It's so important to keep up your dog's hygiene. I personally brush my dog's teeth every day. I try to wash their faces, comb out their hair so they don't have any mats or knots or anything like that. Make sure that their nails are clipped on a regular basis. It's just, it'll just improve the overall happiness of the dog. I mean, imagine if you weren't clean. Nobody likes not being clean. So it's very important to keep the upkeep of your dogs and also to find a good groomer. Because for me, I don't like clipping my dog's nails. I would prefer a groomer to do that. And because I have long haired dogs, they get hair that grows in their ears. So that needs to be pulled out because yeast can develop in there it can get ear infections and i'm not comfortable doing that because it's not pleasant so i would rather have a good dependable groomer go in and get those areas that i'm not so comfortable with getting so make sure that you have a good reliable groomer that you trust because we've all seen the videos of the the bad groomers so make sure that you have a good groomer the next thing that we have is exercise you have to make sure that your dog gets exercise, which ties into the next thing as well. Number six 
is fits your lifestyle. You have to get a dog that fits your lifestyle. I would never recommend somebody going and getting a Great Dane in an apartment because it's going to be hard for that dog to get around. It's going to be hard for you to get out to exercise. So you have to get something that suits your day to day. For me, um, when I got my dogs, I now live in a house. When I got my dogs, I lived in an apartment. So I knew that a big dog in an apartment, for me personally, wouldn't work. Now there are some people who have larger dogs in an apartment and it works just fine. You know, whatever folks your boat. <laughs> but I think that, you know, you have to have a dog that just goes with your day to day. So my dogs, because they're so small, they don't have to have daily exercise. They, running around the house is exercise for them. Now, of course, I do take them out uh, twice a week at least to the dog park. Um, usually we go, in the summertime, we go Wednesday evenings and Saturdays. Um, in the wintertime, we can go probably on the weekends. Most likely we go Friday afternoon and Saturday. Just to make sure they get to the dog park, they run around, and they have a big track at the dog park that if you go around, I think it's like four times a mile. And we'll do that to maybe they'll walk two miles to get a good amount of exercise. So just make sure that... The dog fits in with what if you're very active and you go hiking and running you don't want a yorkie because you're going to wear them out really quick and probably end up having to purchase a stroller so just get something that just fits in with you uh, i know i keep saying that um so the next thing that i have which will be number seven is training training is not only a fun activity for your dog it's a good way for them to exercise their brain but it also can be very it can be life-saving um if you have your dog under voice command and you accidentally drop their leash. I know for me, I have three dogs. So sometimes if I have all three of them out walking, a leash may slip out of my hand. And let's say if my sleeping baby Marley, if I drop his leash and he's like, oh, I'm free. If I say Marley sit, stay, he'll sit and stay because he's had that foundation in him to know his commands. So I think that is very important to, as soon as you get the dog, as a puppy, go ahead and sign them up for puppy training classes so it can be a routine and it can be something they're familiar with and you'll see that they actually enjoy it and it's also a good bonding time between the owner and the pet you guys get to have that 15 minutes a day where it's just you and the dog interacting and learning and growing so the next thing i have is socialization with my second oldest dog my zoe chanel we had a few issues with her being socialized so i would say start as soon as possible she would get so nervous around dogs she would bark she would growl she would hide if we went to the dog park she would hide but now that I've been going at least twice a week on a regular basis she's a lot more comfortable um, she's socializing with the dogs better playing better we still have work to do but we are eons better than where we started so I would recommend you start that as a puppy as soon as your dog has all the vaccinations of course and can go outside and interact with other dogs I would do so just to get them socializing it helps them to be more calm and just helps them to be a more manageable dog in public and the last thing that i have number nine is love and affection you want to make sure that you spend time with your dogs it's so important your dog values your time um you know their world revolves around you so you want to make sure that you have time to properly care for and love your pet and spend time with them and show them affection, belly rubs, pets, they love that. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's most important. If you're living a lifestyle to where you're working crazy hours and you're never home, maybe a dog isn't that, maybe a cat. Cause I know cats, I believe, are more independent. I wouldn't know, I'm not a fan of cats. But, you know, you wanna do something that fits your lifestyle. Okay guys, so that's everything that I have on how to properly care for your pets. If you guys have anything else you would like to add to this list, please feel free to leave a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on a video, also go ahead and leave a comment below. Definitely like to thank you for taking the time out to watch our videos today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching those Yorkies Time 3. Have a good day.